Well, here it is finally. The Odroid C4, or however you pronounce it, from Hard Kernel. Got it in today from the good guys at Ameridroid. Where did I put them? Oh. They sent me some gummy bears. That was interesting. So. There it is. There's a case for it. Here's it next to a Raspberry Pi. I'll get them out here in just a second and show it to you side by side. And there it is, all out of the case. With its four USB 3 ports, Ethernet port, heat sink on it, GPIOs, an IR sensor. It looks like it's bent a little bit, not anything terrible. And uh, I don't know what I was thinking, but it is the exact same form factor as a Raspberry Pi 3. So I got it to be a headless device, so I won't be installing any type of desktop on it. There's the underside. Let me flip it over. Micro SD slot more stuff and things and yeah all the things that computer guys get excited over here's the one I'm excited about I don't have to use a micro USB port for power I can use 12 volts I've got lots of those adapters but hopefully one of them works um, probably gonna slap it in the case put a uh, micro SD card that's in there on it and uh, see what type of uh, Linux uh, OS I can get on it all right, included with the Odroid C4 is a getting started, and it includes a tiny URL that uh, you can go to to get an OS to install. So our options are Android and Ubuntu. Um, Ubuntu, you can either do the minimal, which will give you basically just a baseline system where you can start installing stuff, or you can do the mate desktop image. <clears throat> Problem I run into, if you click on it, you'll see not found. Um, Alright, so let's try the desktop image. Not found. Oh, well. And I've tried out other uh, servers, the same thing. So for here, what I've found is I take all this away, then I get a, a listing here for the C4. Uh, once you pull it up, you see that they had included a capital C4 in the uh, their hyperlink. But really, it's lowercase. Um, but then the other issue we end up here is we've got Ubuntu Mate. So this is the desktop version, not the minimal version. So no minimal version seems to be available at this time. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this, uh, burn it with Etcher, install it in the C4, and uh, start it up. All right, so we got it all in the case. A little SD card in there. Um, the way the case works is there are two screws on the board side, so with the top off, and then you put the top on, and you screw the other screws in there, so it's in there. Uh, I shouldn't need to get anything else is a big problem. The little lights work. Red means power. The blue is it's like it's solid when the kernel's loading, and then you get a heartbeat light. That means the kernel's running. Yeah, so the IR is somewhere around here. I don't have plan to use it, but this box isn't completely um, opaque, so maybe it would work. Um, if you want to use the 40-pin GPIO, you can knock that out. And, uh, yeah, so since there was no minimal, which I wasn't going to try to do this headless anyways at this point in development, I tried my wireless keyboard. Dongle's still plugged in there. Um, no response. Plugged in the regular keyboard, no response. Got the mouse out. Finally got a response. I have it up on my TV, and I guess it detects it's 4K because, man, that text is really freaking small on a 43-inch TV. So for power, like I said, I really was excited that it was a barrel for 12 volts. Um, using an old Vonage adapter, it's rated at 1.5 amps, which is enough for what I'm doing. It's just the power on testing. We're not running it any big hard drives or you know running peripherals off of it 
So hooked up to the kilowatt meter, it's using, yeah, 0 0.4, 0 0.3 amps. Got 120 volts. I can make that up right for you. All right, and uh, two watts. Five, between five and three VA. So power factor. Eh, like like most small stuff, it bounces around. Um, so yeah, running it all of seven minutes. Not enough to even tick up on the meter. Uh, I typically look at the volt amperes and amps, and then do my own calculation of what it would cost. But yeah, really super small, and it's already detected there's a problem. Yeah, we'll figure that out. All right, it's survived its first restart, and we're going to try logging in. Udroid is the default username. It is also the same for the password. I've already changed it, though, because I had a problem spelling Odroid, for whatever reason. So, there we go. Um, Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. It looks like it already has done a look for package updates. Um, the only thing I did was install HTOP so that we could look at that. Alright, it's reporting four cores, some memory usage, and 55 tasks. And uh, that's just rebooting. I'm not logged into Mate, but uh, the display manager is up and running on the TV. Um, there we go. It says it's got a CPU. It says I've got an SD card in there. And uh, yeah, so I don't know what else you really want to see. It works. Um, this is just up and running. I'm not going to, like I said, it'll be headless for me. So we're going to just uh, leave it at that. I'll install stuff later. If there ends up with a link in the description below, then I may post some more stuff about how I'm using it and how it works in the long term. But if I don't, then uh, I guess I didn't do that. And that's all for today.